Hi, my name is Richard. Um, I am 24 years old and I am single. No ring on the finger, um, nor am I in a dating relationship. And I am not sexually active at all. As a single person dealing with um, sex in our society today, it is, it is everywhere. Um, it is, you're bombarded with it nonstop. I mean, I feel like I can't even, you, you, everywhere you go, it's almost like you have to have blinders on. Like, don't look at that, don't look at that, don't look, 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 look down, look down, look down, because it, it really is everywhere. And not only with just the, the visual lust, but just with the pressures of sex within our society, you have to go to the Word of God and you have to uh, trust God on what He says, but you got to know what He says. Society tells me that I'm not a man unless I've had sex with a woman. That goes back from the junior high locker room days all the way up through the college um, athletics locker room days. But I don't necessarily agree with that because I think any man can go lay with a woman. But what makes me a man is being defined by who I, who I say I am in Christ and what God's Word um, says about me and so to deal with the pressures you have to look at the scripture and having people surround you having accountability men that love Jesus not men who go to church but men and women who love Jesus that are in my life of listening to them and their stories has helped me so much deal with the pressure of having men who love Jesus look at me and say hey Richard it was worth it. It was worth holding out on. And by surrounding yourself with people who love Jesus, you find strength in the midst of it and His Holy Spirit gives you strength to battle it and to just say, you know what, I trust you. Even when it doesn't make sense and even when my flesh wants to, I trust you. Because the pressure, you can't handle it on your own. I couldn't handle it on my own because there were times where I'm just gonna admit I wanted to give in and I tried to give in, but God was good. I'm not good on my own and I can't do those, pre handle it on my own because I would give in every time if it wasn't for God's grace and Jesus Christ and His Spirit and His conviction inside of me um, keeping me from those pressures because I'll bust every time without Him. Because pressure will say your biological clock is up, you're not a man you're this or that, but I serve the God who is the author of time. And so to buy in, to rush into something, you gotta realize our culture is all about lust, not love. Love waits. By no means am I perfect, no means am I, you're a fool if you think I don't struggle with this every day, that there isn't times where I think, why not? Because I do. There's There's been times where I've just, tried to dive in, but not by my means, but by God's grace as He helped me stay through that, to stay strong. But I know that God's Word says in Corinthians that you have to take every thought captive, make it a slave to Christ, and you can buy the lie and dive in, or you can trust God and wait. And so that's kind of how I deal with the pressure, and you just got to make war with it every day, because there's not a day goes by that, I mean, I'm a guy. <laughs> I am a guy and hopefully one day I hope to be married and be able to have that relationship, but for now it's no. It is no and you just have to be man enough or bold enough. I have to, but more than that I have to trust Jesus to deal with these pressures because they can become overwhelming. <laughs> when, people, when people do ask or get one or they express like you're not sexually active or that girl you were dating, y'all aren't having sex or y'all never did this or you never did that, that why is just Instead of getting defensive, I look at it as an opportunity, like, <laughs> take it to Jesus. There's times in the past where I was defensive about it, or I was cowardice about it, but now I look at it as an opportunity to take them to Jesus. 